the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. Cats can't see me. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to the sit down. We're back at it again. Uh, today, I have Antoine Allen in the building. Filmmaker, director. I've been, I, I've been told you have over 20 films. Yes, sir. To your credit? Yep, yes, sir. What What was the the genesis behind being a uh, a filmmaker? Well, I started in the music business. Um, oh, really? I managed up becoming a hip hop artist. Okay. I was doing that for a while. and um, That was a headache. It was a headache. <laughs> it, was, it was a headache. And um, sometimes when you work with artists from the inner city, a lot of times they project projecting their pain. They don't mean to do certain things, they're just projecting their pain. Mm -hmm. So I was working on myself. So if you're growing and the people you're working with is not, you kind of feel like a hole in your heart, like yeah. I want to do more. So I did my first short film called Split Decision. It's actually the um, short film of the Lola 2 franchise that we promoting today. Mm -hmm. And um, I fell in love. Like, I, you know, we deal with the inner city artists, a lot of them going to jail, going through different trauma things. Mm -hmm. I did the work on myself, so I have to, I'm working on mm -hmm. So I wake up in the morning, I know we're going to get this job done. Yeah. And um, I fell in love with it. I tell everybody, you want to do something, fall in love with something. What's the hardest thing about directing? I think the hardest thing is probably funding. Mm. Um, when you see your counterparts, Caucasian counterparts, um, doing one short film, and their second film is $20 million. Damn. You kind of be like, damn. But, you know, yeah. Where does funding like that come from? Or where, can, where, where do you go to get that kind of funding? As a Well, Hollywood was a bill for us. We so, know that. Yeah, so that if you're part of that environment, it's easy to get money. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes your complexion is a matter. So, you know, with anything, you know, God made me special. So you got to go through it. Um, every journey is different. Mm -hmm. um, but you just got to make your own path. So tell me about the Lola, the Lola 2 project and the, uh, the short that created the whole series. Yeah, when I first started, I started a short film, female boxing film um, called Swift Decision. And I knew I wanted to make it bigger, but at the time I had the finance. So I did other projects to get where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. So Lola is the first ever female boxing franchise. Never been done in cinema history. Um, I'm one of the only filmmakers that actually done it. It's my female version of Rocky. I was going to say, why did you choose all females? I want to do something to make me stand out as a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. um, just because I come from a certain environment, I want to show my people in a better light. Mm -hmm. It's never been done before. So this is the first ever franchise ever been done. Um, it's about underdog. Um, Lola 1 takes place with this female that gets sexually assaulted and she turned the box in to defend herself. Sometimes we go through trauma, and you be a victim, or you turn your pain into purpose. Mm. So in this film, she turned her pain into purpose. Why I'm getting the amateur boxing, why I'm not winning in Lola 1. Nice. Lola 2, she come back with Avengers. We got Roy Jones in it. Oh, nice. Um, it's starring Taja V. Simpson. Mm -hmm. She's played um, Priscilla in The Oval, Tyler Perry Show on BET. Okay. Um, we have Carissa Shields, the number one female boxer in the world. Nice. Um, we got Dream Doll. Okay. Dolls in it. Mm -hmm. um, we got a few names in it, and um, it'll be out on All Black uh, April 1st. All Black is the platform. All Black, yep. Nice, nice. Antoine Allen's in the building. It's your guy. I'm easiest to sit down. Um, so where where would you like to see Lola 3? So Lola 3, we're shooting that next year. Um, I'm really, really excited. Um, we got a lot of surprises for that. And uh, yeah, whoever picks it up, um, I'm big on not saying where. Whoever would love it. A mm. lot of times you want to go across the street, oh, come and get me, but you best to get that home cooked food at home. Got you, got yeah. you. So, so list off the twenty films that you've got under your belt so far. Well, we got Lola One and Lola Two mm -hmm. franchise that be on All Black April first. Um, I got a faith based film that's coming out this year called um, Driving Force. Um, I got another film coming out uh, later this year. It's a Christmas film called Christmas with My Girls. Mm -hmm. um, then I got another film I think coming out later this year called Not Promise Tomorrow. Where do you find time to shoot all these films? I mean. This is God gift, man. When they give you this gift, you gotta stay you know, on the pedal. Mm. You know, when you're doing any type of career, um, when you get the opportunity, you can't slow up. Hear that? I yeah. hear that. Um, so what 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 would what advice would you give to a young you? Mm, that's a good question. I think my advice to the younger me is, um, I'm glad I didn't give up, cause I went, I was homeless. Mm. Um, I was in special ed. Um, when I was young, I got molested coming mm. from South Side Jamaica, Queens. So I turned my pain to purpose. And I think a lot of times, you know, I know I'm not the status quo because I made it through the storm, but I came out of it. So definitely don't give up. Do you box? So the crazy thing about it, when I was younger, I used to box in Gleason's gym. I used mm. to get bullied when I was younger. Okay. So God got a great sense of humor. I didn't know all the years <laughs> later. Stupid. Yeah, I didn't know all the years later, I'm doing a female boxing franchise. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say, if you believe in yourself, anything is possible. That's amazing. I, that's a that's an amazing story. Yeah. So, 
what was the thing that forced you to turn it into passion and not the other way? Yeah, so I didn't make an option. Go to jail, die, or uh, be an old man full of regret. And I wanted more in my life. So I had virtual mentors that I look at from afar, like the Tyler Perry, mm. like the 50 Cent. 50 Cent's from our neighborhood. And seeing those guys, like, they went through some trauma stuff. Yeah. And if they could get through that, I could get through my story. And I just wanted more to life. Mm. And Would you ever put your story on film? I think I'm doing it now. Mm. I'm talking about it. I made it out of it. Um, I'm one of the few filmmakers that's out of Queens, New York, that's on doing it on this level. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I think I'm doing it now. I'm telling the story now. How do you feel about the streaming stuff now? How does that affect your world? It's a blessing. Because back in the day, we could have get the opportunities. Like, mm -hmm. I would never met you. <laughs> We, we up here promoting an independent film that I made with my partner, uh, Monica Floyd. Um, Monica Floyd, this is a, a quick break story. So when COVID happened, um, I was looking for funding. And I didn't. I, I got a lot of no's. And I was on Clubhouse. I met my producer, Monica Floyd, and she, we was on Clubhouse talking during COVID, and we came together off an app and produced this film together. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, April 1st. Yeah. Uh, on all platforms, where, where can I find it? You said on Black? Yeah, All Black uh, Network. Um, it's a streaming service. Uh, AMC All Black will be on April 1st. You can see Lola 1 and Lola 2, and I'm excited. We've got a premiere that's coming up in L.A., New York, and Atlanta. And, I'm and this is in theaters? That. We're going to have premieres for it. No, this no. is going to be a streaming service. Yeah. Got you, got yeah. you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, listen. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. man. Thank you for coming by. Um. Well, the next when the next one drops, you more than welcome to come by again. Yeah. I appreciate you having me. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you follow, subscribe, comment, and let them know how to follow you and uh, be a part of your wave. Go to my official website, AntoineAllenFilms dot com. That's AntoineAllenFilms dot com, and check us out. Load the two, baby. Good luck on the future uh, films and congratulations again. Thank you, man. So sit down. Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. Cats can't see me.